I was invited to be part of the Eldon Street Heritage Action Zone project, and in lots of ways, it's a it's a dream gig for a poet. Um, you know, the the archives were thrown open to me, and I've just been digging around in the history of the street and thinking about how to uh, approach its traditions and its its life uh, from an imaginative and, and poetic perspective. I'm trying to uh, think of a project where people can get involved, you know, a project that celebrates uh, the street but in a slightly unusual way. I grew up in Huddersfield, I live in Huddersfield, and for whatever reason I don't know Barnsley very well at all. I mean, I only live about three fields away. So it's been a great chance for me to explore some neighbouring territory. And uh, I've loved just driving over here every day, finding things out about a town that I should have known about uh, and, and, and didn't. And um, so it, it feels both local and exotic, foreign, alien. And I think that's the way that I'm approaching the writing. Eldon Street is the kind of street that you might drive down or walk down and not take much notice of. But when you've got people with you who know about the history of a street and start pointing things out, uh, it, it becomes alive with stories, mythologies, ideas. Um, the first time I visited and walked up and down a couple of times, uh, I suddenly realized it was like walking through a book of poems. You know, you point at a shop window and there'd be a whole you know, narrative open up, a whole universe. Um, or it was like walking down uh, an aisle in a, in a museum, you know, different exhibits. Um, so, you know, just right from the, the kinds of shops and the shopkeepers and the history of those shops and, uh, you know, the, the change of use, because it's, you know, as well as being uh, an old street going back to the, to the 19th century, uh, it's full of, you know, modern day, outlets as, as, as well. So in some ways it's about uh, getting behind the, the facade of the street and thinking about uh, you know, the occupiers and the, the retailers and the, the, the use of those buildings, what's gone on uh, both you know, in an open door and behind a closed door. Something that caught my eye very early on uh, was an item about uh, the the sort of naturalist society here and um, a museum that uh, is almost sort of semi-mythical that had, um, you know, exhibits of uh, rare animals or animals that were local uh, to, uh, to, to Barnsley. And I, I, I immediately had this sense of trying to recreate it, so I wrote a little proposal which was called Barnsley, An Unnatural History. Um, I think it said to me that you know it gave an opportunity to um, dig into you know an, a, a slightly unknown, slightly you know psychedelic part of uh, Barnsley's history, but also maybe on a more serious note to think about issues of of the environment, uh, birds, animals, wildlife, things that we sometimes forget about in urban landscapes uh, and El Eldon Street is, is very much uh, an urban landscape. So I'm, I'm looking at the whole language that comes around uh, wildlife, you know, whether that's nightlife or whether it's, um, you know, foxes and, and so on and so forth. Also, I'm really interested in the idea of um, carnival or circus and trying to create something that's got a real buzz about it. There's, uh, a, you know, a mayor's parade here, there are other uh, festivities that go on in the town and um, I want us to develop uh, a sense of anticipation like there used to be when you when you were a kid and you heard that the carnival uh, or the fair was coming to town uh, so it will culminate in, uh, in, in, in elements of performance. I write and record and perform with a band called LYR um, I've just become more and more honest, I think, about my associations with music. Uh, I think that combining words with music is one of the great hybrid art forms of the 21st century. 
And I think when people go to events these days, they often expect something more than just a standard music event or a standard poetry reading. I think it lends itself to, to celebration and pleasure and, and excitement and, and weirdness. So I think what we'll try and create is something along the lines of an hour long performance or soundtrack, which will hopefully have visual elements as well. Yeah, a real uh, carnival for the, for the senses and some animal costumes. <laughs>